when you get your scale air, it will come with a compressor, an H-frame, and the box with the module and the components. First thing you do is unscrew the knob and pull out the platform. Next you pull out the box. Third, you pull out the compressor with the H-frame. Fourth, you open the box, remove the packing material, and take out all the individual components. Carefully remove the module. Next, you get yourself some very strong wire cutters and cut off the ties that tie the the H-frame to the wood. Remove the ties. And take the H frame off the wood. Next, you put on the casters. You hold the H frame on this side, you rock the caster back and forth, and then push it all the way in. Hold it, rock it and push. We are now going to install the platform to the H-frame. If you notice, this tube has a groove going through it. Align this groove with the screw on this knob. Adjust it to the height that you want and tighten it down. The bottom side of the scale air comes with four posts and four wing nuts. Remove the wing nuts and place the four posts into the four holes on the platform. And then reattach the wing nuts. The unit comes with four hand pieces. The far left is a scaling hand piece. Next comes the high speed hand piece. Then the low speed hand piece. And the air water syringe. Keep the hand pieces in this order because the scaling hand piece, the high speed, and the syringe require water. The low speed does not. So if you put any of these in this cradle, the foot switch will not supply you with water. The syringe handpiece has two buttons. The left one is for water, the right one is for air. If you depress both at the same time, you will get a mist. To connect your air supply, take your yellow hose with the male quick disconnect, 
depress the clip, push it into the female, click disconnect, let go of the clip, and you are connected. The DC power plug supplies power to the scaler and you plug it in the back. This is the gray power cord. You connect this end to the back of the unit, make sure it is all the way plugged in, and then of course the other end goes into the wall plug. The high speed, the low speed, and the syringe is powered by air coming from the compressor. The tank, you need to fill with distilled water, put the hose inside, find a little pin, push it in, and turn. The scaling handpiece comes with two inserts. One is pointy and the other is flat. You push it into the handpiece all the way down as far as it will go and you're done. The water switch you can leave on all the time. The foot switch controls the scaling handpiece, the high speed, and the low speed handpiece. The power knob controls only the scaling handpiece, and you can go from low to high. The water knob controls the scaling handpiece and the high speed handpiece. And even though the power knob goes from this position to this position, the water knob continues on. If you turn it all the way clockwise, you will get very little to no water. It will stop at some point. And then you can turn it back the other way until it stops and it will give you a lot of water. So you choose the water level you wish to have somewhere in the middle. In the beginning of each day, fill the tank three quarters of the way with distilled water. Now every two or three weeks, add a quarter cup of bleach to the tank, swish it around, pour it out, rinse it with water a few times, pour it out, and refill it with distilled water. And the reason we use Clorox or bleach is to remove any bacteria or mold and mildew that may have gotten into the tank causing a slime. You don't want this to go into the unit or into your patient's mouth.